Hi, this is a quick unboxing review of the Ishin Goggles One. I received it about a week ago. I had it on pre-order for about three months. I like it got three, took three months until I got it. So finally it's here and I'm ready to review it. So let's have a look. Let's see the specifications on the back. So it has built-in HDMI jack, built-in battery, it has 40 uh, channels and that's about it. So let's open the box and see what we're getting inside. Okay, so I took everything out of the box. So this is the instruction manual. You can see here. Okay, so these are the goggles themselves. The, They look very good. They're not heavy. I'm going to wait next in this video. Second of all, we get in this bag with the battery. The same battery you get in with the VR007. The battery is 1600 mAh, 2 cells, 7.4 volts, and we use a micro USB cable in order to charge it. And you also get in the micro USB cable inside the bag here. Plus, you get in this RP SMA mail rubber ducky antenna. In the kit we're getting also the HDMI cable, it's micro HDMI to HDMI and the length of the cable is about 1.5 meters. Okay, so on top you can see this is the vent. We have the RP SMA female connection for the antenna. This is the front. This is the power input which you're going to plug your battery in. There is the screen. The screen is 5 inch and it's supposed to be full 1080p, full HD. And on the right side you have the menu, HD AV, so you can choose between the H micro HDMI connection which is here. And here is the headphone jack. If you're looking to use your glasses with the Ishin Goggles One, you must know that uh, it's going to be a bit tricky and you will have to curve some uh, cuts on the side in order to fit your glasses inside. Here is the EV800, so you can see how they look side by side. So uh, the Goggles One are uh, bigger, but I think they weigh almost the same. I'm gonna wait in a second, so they weigh almost the same. And in with the EV800, you won't be able to use glasses at all because as you can see it's just, it, does, it just won't fit so you can see them side by side the Ishin uh, EV800 I have a separate review about them on them sorry and uh, they cost almost half of the goggles one so the goggles one including everything the battery and the antenna weighs around 477 grams and the EV800 right weigh around 390 grams so it's 80-90 grams of a difference it's not such a big thing but I think that the Goggles One are more comfortable okay so in order to set it up all you need to do is just screw the antenna over here the battery is secured on the back and all you have to do is just plug it like that and then okay so I turned the goggles on and let's see the screen is very bright which is good and here is the AD HDAV button which you can choose in order to switch from the AV which is this one to the HDMI which I'm going to show you later and here is the enter you can use in order let me just okay so you can choose you can the backlight you can just you can see you can dim it or go all the way up and let's see the other so you have the brightness contrast volume video type you can set it to PAL or to NTSC this is the scan button this one the triangle so I'm going to connect my quadcopter and show you how it looks 
Okay, so I just went ahead and connected my quadcopter. So I'm going to hit scan. So this is how it looks on the inside. The quality is really good. I'm gonna hold it and walk around. Okay, so I'm gonna take it around the house. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the headset to my computer, show the quality and maybe play some free rider. Connecting the HDMI cable to the computer is very easy. All you have to do is just connect one side to the computer and the micro HDMI side to the go. And switch to the HDMI and it auto recognizes everything. So there's nothing to configure. The quality of is really, really good. I'm gonna show you some video. Here's the video I took of the Ishin 250 flying the drone. You can see the picture is really, really good. And I heard rumors that the screen is not really 1080p. I'm pretty convinced it is 1020p, 1080p, sorry. Because it's really, really crisp. Okay, so this is the free rider. See, it looks really good and gives you much more realistic experience flying using these goggles than the, just using the screen of your computer. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, goodbye.